Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, and today I am going to focus on using palettes that I purchased in 2019 and never got around to using. Believe it or not, I counted at least 37 palettes that I bought in 2019 or received as gifts in 2019, and I just never got a chance to use them. So today we are gonna be doing, as you can tell by the title, the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Palette. So I personally do own the Radioactive Stack, and I may do a palette uh, knockout at some point, which is a series I used to do on my channel, where I use um, the stack and compare it to the palette. But this is the palette. If you haven't seen it, the packaging is beautiful. And <clears throat> get rid of that plastic. This is the palette on the inside. So the original Radioactive Stack had these first four shades, the pink, the orange, the yellow, and the green. So um, the other four are new, as far as I know. Um, well, I'm pretty sure because I own almost everything Melt Cosmetics has ever come out with. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to use it today. I kind of just wanted to play with some makeup and I wanted to, I want to at least once a week do a look if I can. I'm not going to like hold myself to it, but I would like to try to once a week at least use a palette in my collection that I bought and never used. So this is definitely one of them. Now, this is not one of... The older ones, I definitely have palettes that have been in my collection for longer. Um, I got this with a Sephora gift card. I want to say maybe for my anniversary. I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly when I got it. But no, it wasn't out for my anniversary. So it had to have been after that. But I just know I got it with a gift card from Sephora. There's my mirror. I'm forever looking for my mirror. Be right back. Okay, that should be like a channel goal is to remember to have my mirror out when I start. I'm also going to try to use products that I really haven't used that I got in 2019. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. I used to have BoxyCharm as of very recently actually. And I had enough charms in the charm room to get... A free item and I went ahead and I got this and I think I've tried it like once I liked it when I tried it so I'm gonna keep using it and see how I like it it actually reminds me feeling wise sort of but smell wise and performance wise it reminds me of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer so I want to try to use as many of these shades as I can um, I haven't seen too many looks done with this palette, but I've seen a few. Uh, the palette does not want to stay open, so that is not a plus. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. My brushes need to be turned around. I think I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place brush first. Sorry, I just put my finger in front of the camera. I think I'm just going to go straight in with the dark teal shade which is called meltdown and that is this one and then i'll probably blend it out with the one next to it called arsenic which is a shimmer shade there that helps i just moved the box so i kind of have an idea of what i want to try to do but i don't know how well it'll work so we'll see and melt cosmetics has not been particularly consistent I mean I generally like their palettes and their stacks but I think I mentioned in a previous video that I prefer their palettes only because I find their stacks really difficult to remember to use just because you can't see the shades when the stacks are stacked because you don't there's no can't see through it and all 
the stacks, pretty much all of them look the same. So, but I'm not really doing anything today. Today is actually New Year's Day. And we didn't really do much for New Year's. We just kind of relaxed, which was nice because um, my hubby had been gone for a wedding that he went to. I didn't go because I wanted to spend the time with my parents. And I also uh, didn't have anyone to take care of the dogs at the time. So I stayed home. Okay, now I'm going in with arsenic. And so it was nice to just kind of spend some time at home, relax with him, and not really go anywhere. So I actually watched um, Christopher J. Emue's live stream. I saw some of you guys in there. I will link his channel up here. He goes live quite, quite frequently on both Instagram and on his YouTube channel. And... It's really fun to talk with everyone in there. I had a lot of fun with everyone. And we walked, We all watched him get ready for a New Year's party he was going to. Which, it's always funny because he's always running behind. <laughs> and he was running behind last night too. And his boyfriend was in the chat with us and was like, Can you hurry up? It was just fun. We had a, lot, a good time. I definitely recommend watching one of his lives. I watch his lives a lot and I watch um, Tattooed Mama. I watch her live streams a lot and I watch Mander's Beauty and I watch Amy from Living in Chrysalis. Those are the live streams that you'll find me in the most on YouTube. So, okay, now I'm going to go into the shade Xenon, which is the lime green shade, and that's this one right here. I have swatched a couple of these shades, so if you see like a swipe in them, that's why. And I'm going to try to keep that kind of close to the teal because I want to make sure I can fit the other shades on the lid except for the purples. Well, the dark purple, I'm going to put on the lower lash line. And it's been a long time since I've done like a rainbowy look, which rainbow looks are some of my favorite looks to do. They always have been. I used to have rainbows on my walls when I was little. Neighbor is very loud. I don't know if you could just hear him, but he's like, hey, uh, on the... I'm like, shh, don't you know I'm filming? <sighs> okay, now I'm going into neon, and I'm just using the same brush pretty much. Or not pretty much, I am using the same brush. And again, I'm just kind of feathering that into the lime green. Because I still have orange and pink left to go. I don't know, I've heard mixed reviews about this palette. I am not having any difficulties whatsoever, but I know that <clears throat> some people, I mean, this is essentially pretty much a neon palette, and I know that some people don't like neons or they have difficulty with neons. Um, I tend to like them. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush now that we are closer. I'll use this flat shader brush from, it's called a small definer brush from Juvia's Place. So it looks like this. My friend Kaylee Wesley does that all the time. She puts the brush up to her forehead. So I'm just gonna take the orange and just put a little bit of that. Orange is not my favorite color, but I'm starting to like it more than I used to. But yeah, I'm not having any difficulty with these. I For me, they seem like about the same formula. Now that I'm into the shades that match the stack, I'm into the same formula. Or <laughs> I feel like they're about the same formula as the stacks, like the neon stack. At least the shades that match the stack shades. 
Okay, and now I'm going to go into the pink. And I'm just going to put that in the very inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. I mean, to me, they're very pigmented. And they're blending into each other really nicely. So let me know down below what, if anything, you guys did for New Year's. Did you go out? Did you stay in? If you stayed in, did you do makeup just for fun? I thought about doing that, but then I ended up not. I ended up just staying in my pajamas. Oh no, phone is ringing. I'll be right back. I swear I almost never get phone calls on my landline. But when I do, it's when I'm filming, for sure. I'm just adding a little bit more orange. I want to be able to see all the different shades. And then I will be taking the light, like, lavender lilac color and putting it in my inner corner once I've done my base and my lower lash line. So let me go off camera, do my base, and I will be right back. Okay, I thought I would bring you guys back for my, um, some of my base just because I'm going to use some new products that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to use the Ciate London Extraordinary Powder and I'm a little frightened because this is very white, um, like very white and that is the same issue that I had with the Jeffree Star, uh, Magic Star Translucent Powder. I love the fair one, but the translucent one was just white. Like, I'm not used to a translucent powder that has such a white, like, finish to it. So, I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll find out. I will have to see. Hmm. Yeah, see, it made me even paler than I am. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but <clears throat> we'll see. Okay, I'll have to see once all my other makeup is on if I like it or not. And then I have the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer that I want to try. For, or not the Chocolate Soleil, the Chocolate Gold from Too Faced. I love the little heart right there. And this is what it looks like. It's very warm, but I'm hoping that I like it. And I like this angled Morphe brush. It's the E4. And I just, oh, it smells so good. I have a, I never, that's great. I never get, knock on wood, I hardly ever, to never get acne or anything like that. And I don't know I don't know honestly I I'm not just saying this I don't think it is one I think it might be a bug bite because I was outside yesterday and I remember like feeling something on my face and I kind of pushed it away oh my gosh that's so intense and it like I felt like something bit me that's what I'm trying to say but, and it kind of looks more like a bite than a zit, but it might be a zit, who knows? I just don't like that it's like so obvious and right where I put my bronzer. Okay, so I think that even though I thought that that would be, I remember I was going to buy it like the year it came out, which I think was almost two years ago, and the lady at Ulta was like, mm, no that's too warm for you. And so I didn't end up buying it and I've regretted it ever since because I wanted it and I wanted it and I wanted it. And then I got it from Mercury, which hopefully by now you've seen my Mercury slash Cyber Monday slash uh, Black Friday haul, but I don't know which one of these two videos will go up first. If it is already up, I will link it up here. This is the 
Wet n Wild Pac-Man blush palette. I really love this palette. But I haven't used it in a while because I keep using all the same stuff. So I thought we would use it today. Okay, so now let me do my brows because I don't have anything new for brows. I'll pick out an eyeliner pencil and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes and the face. Okay, so what is hilarious to me is that I'm like, I have nothing new for the brows, right? And then I go off camera and I decide to use my Cafe Olay um, pencil, lip pencil for my brows from Rimmel. So I think it matches my hair almost. I did, I think I ordered, I, this is LA Girl lip liner in pop, but I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. And... I believe that I purchased a inexpensive lip liner or eyeliner that is, it's, it's an eyeliner. I think it's called Oxblood, I want to say, and it's from NYX, and I bought it to go with my hair. So I'm hoping that um, that will come soon so I can test that out. But I don't know. Sometimes when I have the red hair, I like to match my brows to my hair when I can. Okay, so now we're going to go into the shade Hazmat, which is the deep purple shade, and then I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And I think I maybe should have put some powder under my eyes, but I'm trying to be really careful. I like that I put the green on the outer corner instead of the pink like i kind of did did it in reverse because usually when i put pinks and reds you guys know on the outer corner i end up with like watery eyes although something interesting my friend angie from 4f beauty i will link her channel up here if you guys aren't subscribed you should definitely go check her out but um i never realized that watery eyes were a symptom of fibromyalgia, which I do have. So, um, that might just be the fact that my, my eyes just might be more sensitive because of that. So that is a really beautiful purple color, like really beautiful. And then you guys will be happy to know that I purchased some new NYX glitter glue. I got it from Amazon and let me tell you if you have Amazon Prime and you need or want to try the NYX glitter glue It is only four dollars and 39 cents on Amazon So and then right now it's buy one get one 50% off. So I went ahead and I purchased two of them. So I should be set for a while <laughs> I hope because I've really been going through, like I went through at least three NYX glitter glues this year, or last year, last year. And uh, it was funny, I was messaging my friends that I've met here on YouTube that live in other parts of the country that were behind me in time, like Central Time or Pacific Time. And I was like, Happy New Year from the future. Okay, now I'm, because I'm silly, now I'm going to go in with the shade Uranium, which is that beautiful, like, lilac shade with the same pencil brush. I I put the glitter glue, and I'm going to kind of bring the lilac around a little bit into the pink, just because I think that will be pretty. I don't want to cover up the pink, but I want to bring it around into the pink and into the purple. There's like carnival music playing outside. I'm not sure what's going on this morning. I got neighbors yelling. I got carnival music playing. All right. I think that looks really pretty. I might put a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner as well, which I'm going to use this because 
I had to have these. Had to have the Nikki Tutorials Ofra Highlighters. This is in the shade Space Baby. It's like a white with like a blue shift. You can barely tell in this lighting. But I had to have them when they came out. I was like, oh yeah, that's what I would want. I had to have them Cloud9 and Space Baby. I got the set and I've hardly used them. So I am, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to use as many products as I can this year. Not to say that I won't buy anything new, but I definitely want to dive back into stuff that I purchased. I almost said that we purchased, but really I did that. I was terrible. Okay, so I'm going to spray my face and we're going to put on highlighter and then we're going to do mascara and then that's what I was going to do. I was like, why am I looking over here? Because I like to do this. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this Juvia's Place highlighter brush and I'm just going to see what this looks like. That's pretty. Anybody that I talked about, I will link them below in the description box or in the cards. It all depends because I've said this before, but YouTube only allows you to put so many names in the cards or so many videos in the cards, stuff like that. So it just all depends. Um, yeah, I think that's really pretty. Okay, do I want to do anything else? Okay, so I have these two mascaras. These are the Lash Princess mascaras. I have the Sculpted Volume. I really shouldn't open two. I just want to see what the wand... Okay, so that one's a little bit curved. They're all... They're very weirdly curved. But they look the same. So I'm just going to use the pink one, the Volume one. Because I want to know if I like them as much as I like the green one. Most people say they like the green one the best, but I don't know why that is. Like, I don't know what the difference is, but they came as a set and I got the green one as well, but I still have a green one open. So I'll save that green one. Yeah. I mean, okay. So the, this works, it works well. Um, it works as well as some of my other drugstore mascaras, but I would not say it works as well as the green one. I think the green one definitely gives you the most volume out of all the ones I've tried so far. I've tried the blue one, now the pink one, and then the green one. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my CoverGirl Exhibitionist over top of that, just to really bring out those lashes. Another goal I have for 2020 is to not all the time by any means, but more often put on lashes with certain looks. Only occasionally. Because I'm not a lashes person. But sometimes. Okay, so on the lips, because Hmm. What do I want to do? I think I'm just going to go in with this gloss. This is the one in Bewitched, and it's one of the Huda Beauty lip strobes that I got from Mercury. And this is, it matches the highlighter perfectly. It's like a white gloss with a blue shift. Oh, that was too much. Okay. Just like a nice little wash of color on the lips and it makes my lips look nice and juicy. I don't know why I always feel like I miss foundation right next to my mouth. I don't know why that is. All right, I'm gonna spray my face one more time and we're done. So I definitely wanna do more looks with this palette. Let me know if you wanna see more looks with this palette. Let me know if this is a palette that you would like to see a three looks one palette with because I want to do more of those this year but in terms of 
Melt Cosmetics palettes. I mean, I think it did a great job. I think it blended really well. And I wanted to say about the neons, it's, I said that, you know, some people don't like neons or uh, they're not familiar with working with them. And I don't, it's also that neons are really hard to work with. <laughs> like they can, and I feel like a lot of people who do a lot of blending have more issues sometimes or can have the potential to have more issues with neons because neons don't blend well generally. And I do less blending than most people. So I think that that's why I enjoy working with them. So that is a better explanation, I think. But yeah, I really do like it. I do think that these first four are exactly the same as the stack in terms of pigmentation and formula and everything like that. And then these four are pretty much on par with other Melt Cosmetics, like normal satin shimmer matte formulas. So let me know if you want to see more looks with this. I love the way this look turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.